So I've been using iPhones as my main device, I think since like 2016. And to be honest, some of the best iPhones I've ever owned are some of the ones that I typically will go ahead and use, but then the next iPhone after, it will be so much better. So it's hard to actually kind of pinpoint which one is like my favorite iPhones out of all the ones I've used. But the most notable ones that stand out to me, number one, the 7 Plus, this is probably the first one I remember. The iPhone 10 was insane. The iPhone 11 Pro was crazy. But more recent times, still, I would say the best iPhone that I own right now is the iPhone 13 Pro. This is still, I think, I would say even better in some ways than the iPhone 14 Pro, which I've made tons of videos talking about, but I just love the consistency of the 13 Pro. And now that this iPhone has been out for what, like over a year now, it's gone down in price tag quite a bit as well, making it that much better of a deal. Like this is such a solid iPhone pretty much in every single way. And I love this iPhone so much because of that. Now, the one thing I want to tell you guys is that with an iPhone 13 Pro, this is the last generation of iPhone, the iPhone 15 is about to come out. But from all the rumors and leaks that I've been seeing, of course the iPhone 15 is going to be a big upgrade. But as of right now, the iPhone 13 Pro is such a solid phone. One, price tag wise, this thing is selling for what, like 600 something dollars in the used market, probably even cheaper than that. That is an insane price tag to pay for a device like this. Now I'm seeing some for about 610 up to 700. That is such a good price to pay. That's a what, 30% off of a brand new iPhone 14 Pro. And you're still maintaining a lot of things. You're still maintaining a beautiful display. Of course, it has a notch. You're still maintaining the SIM card slot, which is crazy that they removed it. We are still getting that on the 13 Pro. We're still getting pretty much good you know, battery life, great performance. Everything's pretty much the same. I think the same amount of RAM as well. Like there is a lot of overlap between an iPhone 13 Pro and an iPhone 14 Pro, which makes me very happy with a device like the 13 Pro because it future proofs it a little bit more. And with having a 120 Hertz ProMotion display on the iPhone 13 Pro, it makes it that much more better in my opinion because it makes it that much more future proofed. I don't even think the next iPhone 15, the base models are going to have ProMotion. I think that's going to be reserved for the Pro and Pro Maxes. So again, if that ends up being the case, that's going to be another insane thing that Apple's going to be bringing here. So I will say, from all the iPhones that I've owned, including the latest iPhone 14s, I think the 13 Pro is the best iPhone I've ever owned, and it's just a really good ball of consistency, very few issues even when this iPhone was brand new and like released. And I think if you're looking for an iPhone, it doesn't really get a crazy amount better in terms of price and you know stability and everything than a used iPhone 13 Pro, if I'm being honest. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.